begin we're finishing one uh, issue and then we we just talk okay what we do for the next one how maybe we do this 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 and this and people say okay i'll do this i'll do this i'll do this yeah. i'll do this and then we have after three five days after the uh, uh, meeting the, the, no three five days after the issue yeah uh, we we have like a plan for, for the new one but then you can say i I'll, I'll, I'll do this article or I do this or I go to this route and then life happens and you say oh, I yeah. can't but then you say even on the group on the whatsapp group say we have a whatsapp group listen guys I can't that's that's not not my man that's okay no problem if you can that's okay we'll, we'll, we'll do it we'll find somebody else we'll, we'll always find something to to to, to fill the gap mm. but then if we know two weeks even sometimes a week before. It's much easier to do it than somebody says it to you at the last day. Oh, Jesus, I forgot. Oh, yeah, I let's, let's never forget. The last minute is a motherfucker. You gotta, you just gotta play ball, like, you know. If I tell you I'm gonna be somewhere, I'll meet you here at this time. I'll be there 20 minutes before that time. Yeah. And if I can't be there, you know well in advance the reasons or whatever. It's just respect for the other person's time. And, you know, I think it's just good manners. Yeah. It's fucking lacking, I think. <laughs> or maybe it's just the knuckleheads I'd be hanging out with. Well, these things, like you said, they happen. So you can go somewhere. You can go. You can have a cut glass. You can have a t bur burst ice or something like this. But what I really don't like uh, when when you I go and like approach it. sometime uh, somebody and say, "Listen, can you?" Would, would you be available in two weeks, for example, to do this, this, like, like we did? Yeah. Yeah, to do this, 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 and uh, this. Some people say, okay, that's no problem. Let, let me look, I'll come back to you. And usually they say yes, but some people say, I don't know what I'm going to do in, the, in two weeks. And it, uh, I think it's very rude because it deems you as a, like a... Unorganized. No, no, it deems you as a... <laughs> not very important person to this other fellow you, you are approaching him for example say can we do the interview or something or the the thing in two weeks yeah. oh, i don't know what i'll be doing in two weeks it, it, it means he, he, something i might get a better offer yeah yeah it it means yeah just a lot of, look i've uh, i've asked in the past you know a bunch of people that uh, i might be interested in what they're doing and i just get in touch and i'll say listen any chance you come in and have a chat and they oh yeah, oh yeah, sure, yeah, I'd love that. That's, you never fucking hear from them again. But I'm not going to go running after them. I yeah, ask no. them once. Yeah, once yeah. And if there's like, okay, then I'll get back to them closer to the day, say, are you still good for this day? So I don't have to fucking be sitting there looking at where's this fucking person. You know, uh, that's it. I won't be going chasing nobody. I'll ask them once. And after that, it's up to them. If they want to come back, it, say they don't show up or they cancel for whatever reason. If they want to come in in a later date, the door's still open. It's just I'm not going to go knocking on your door. I'll ask you, and that's it. There's plenty of people who love to fight, that I'd love to talk with, and I would love to fucking talk to just to have the chat and have it out there, you know? So there's no... Like I was saying to you earlier, I mean, it's, when I was just in our discard, just trying to talk by myself, fucking disaster. You'd be like, blah, blah, blah. You're fucking up everything, and your mind is just... Cause it's, it's a new, uh, it's a new arena for you to be in. So it's like anything else. You just gotta settle down and just have a laugh. Just enjoy yourself and just fucking let it happen. You gotta remember, this is going nowhere live. You can look at this later on and say, oh, she's like, I can't put that in there. Or, you know, you can chop it up and have it in. But it's still all genuine and sincere. Yeah. It's just minus the major fuck ups that you might have. <laughs> Put out there, you know what I mean? It's almost like you do the, uh, the, the interview with people. You interviews for me are because I'm a. F I mean, buddy, I watched so many interviews growing up. You know, in with musicians, with writers, with actors. With, you know, all these people that you'd be exposed to twenty four seven early, even if you didn't want to, because it's just the world we live in. Yeah. And you kind of say, well, I like this and I like that. I like who did this. Uh, a director of that those range of movies or whatever for whatever I like their style or whatever and it's the visual component the story all of these things and then it might be someone who um, 
who engineered albums for, for musicians and then but it's usually down to the conversations interviews like uh billy Connolly being interviewed is, is one of the best things you could ever watch no matter who's interviewed billy Connolly, he's a fucking a dream come true kind of thing he's just you ask one question with him and you're laughing for two hours probably he's just a gold mine but unfortunately there's only one billy Connolly, and he's you know but but i was a huge i was always a huge and it's my father's i suppose his interests were such a strong influence on us because he was like he, he's big into all the old movies, the new movie, movies in general, and music. He's a gold mine of knowledge with music. So he, you have all this all around you all the time. So you're going to get attracted to certain things. I remember I came back from somewhere once upon a time and he might come knocking on the door and he'd give you this album. He'd say, I don't know, you'll either love this or you'll hate it. And I look at it and go, it's Leonard Cohen. I go, so who the fuck is Leonard Cohen? Put Leonard Cohen on and I'm like, I'm not too sure. So I played the whole thing. The next thing I like, love Leonard Cohen, you know what I mean? And the door, all the brilliant music, real music I got from my father. So then you'd be like, I need to know more. Who is this Leonard Cohen? So I go, then YouTube came about. So I'd be like, you find out you can get interviews and shit. So I'm like, you find interviews with Leonard Cohen with all these musicians and stuff. So I'm always fascinated with but for me, I never looked at it as a com or an interview. It's always a conversation between two people. I never gave one more importance than the other. It's just what they do is magic. And this person is getting the, the backstory of it. So then you find out as you go to, that there's rules and regulations when it comes to interviews and shit. And it's like, you have to be careful what you say, present yourself, be research. And I'm like, fuck right off, you fucking look. You got to get the person in front of you. And if they want to talk, great. If they don't, fuck off. End of. It's not that fucking hard to understand. You can have a good laugh when you just say, fuck it, let's throw it out there. And don't worry about how you speak or what you say. Just fucking be yourself and let it flow. Because that's where it all, that's where it lives, all the good stuff. If you're going to be in there like trying to put maybe a two hour idea into five minute answers. No, it, that's it just retarded, and I'm not into that. But conversation that's why this kind of thing is a dream. No, I love it, it is a nice thing, and I said.